Why is driving in San Francisco such a nightmare? Is it the endless sea of cars, or is there something more beneath the surface? In this video, we will explore the factors that are making San Francisco's traffic problem one that might never be solved. San Francisco's traffic. In San Francisco, every morning, millions of people commute into the city from neighboring towns and suburbs, causing traffic jams on bridges and main roads. Congested traffic costs each driver $1,642 annually. And while 34% of people use public transportation to get to work, that's still not enough to cool down traffic. As the city's population swells and its urban landscape tightens, navigating through its streets has become a daily challenge for residents and visitors alike. But what exactly is fueling this gridlock? From the booming tech industry to the city's unique geography, a complex web of factors is at play, turning San Francisco's roads into a battleground of cars, buses, and bicycles. San Francisco's traffic congestion is a complex issue, influenced by a variety of factors. Let us discuss these factors one by one. One significant factor is population growth. San Francisco's population has been growing in recent years after a period of decline during the pandemic. California as a whole gained over 67,000 residents in 2023, its first population increase since 2019. As the population increases, so does the number of vehicles on the road, which is one of the most obvious reasons for the surge in traffic congestion. San Francisco's traffic problems have evolved significantly over time, reflecting the city's growth and the challenges posed by its unique geography. From its early days during the gold rush in the mid-19th century, San Francisco's hilly terrain and narrow streets were not designed to accommodate the rapid influx of residents, leading to early congestion issues. As the city entered the 20th century, the rise of automobiles further exacerbated these problems, prompting the construction of freeways in the 1950s. However, this development faced strong opposition during the freeway revolt, where residents successfully halted further freeway expansion through neighborhoods. The post-World War II era brought another wave of population growth and increased car ownership, which worsened traffic, particularly during peak commute hours. In response to the growing congestion, San Francisco invested in public transportation, most notably the Bay Area Rapid Transit System, which began operating in 1972. However, the tech boom of the 1990s and 2000s introduced new challenges as the influx of workers and residents strained the city's infrastructure, eventually earning San Francisco the title of the world's fifth most congested city by 2018. The emergence of ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft further complicated traffic patterns, contributing to a significant increase in traffic delays between 2010 and 2016. As of 2024, San Francisco continues to struggle with traffic congestion, despite efforts to expand bike lanes, improve public transit, implement congestion pricing, and promote remote work. The city remains in a constant battle to balance the needs of its growing population with the constraints of its geography and existing infrastructure. Moreover, the expansion of the tech industry in Silicon Valley and San Francisco, coupled with population growth, has significantly impacted traffic in the city. As major tech companies continue to establish offices and headquarters in the area, they've created a surge of new, high-paying jobs. This influx of job opportunities has drawn a large workforce to the region, resulting in a substantial increase in daily commutes. However, many tech workers, faced with San Francisco's notoriously high housing costs, choose to live in more affordable areas outside the city. This decision leads to longer commutes, with thousands of people driving into San Francisco each day for work. As a result, the influx of commuters puts considerable strain on the city's roads and highways, especially during peak morning and evening rush hours. The influx of commuters puts considerable strain on San Francisco's roads and highways, especially during peak morning and evening rush hours. The city's infrastructure struggles to accommodate the increased traffic volume, leading to congestion, delays, and longer travel times for residents and workers alike. Furthermore, alongside the tech industry's growth, San Francisco has also experienced strong employment growth overall. 
In 2024, the job market continued to improve, with an addition of 1,900 jobs in San Francisco and San Mateo counties between February and April. As the unemployment rate dropped back to 3.4%, down from 4% in January, the combination of population and employment growth has further contributed to the increase in congestion in San Francisco in recent years. Adding to these challenges, San Francisco's 2024 population reached San Francisco's 2024 population reached approximately 788,000. The city's compact geography and limited space exacerbate traffic problems, as many areas are densely populated. This issue is compounded by the fact that as population densities rise, vehicle use also increases. Notably, research performed for the Federal Highway Administration indicates that traffic volumes at typical densities tend to rise at least 80% of the rate of population density increase. Another contributing factor is vehicle ownership. In 2024, 70.1% of households in San Francisco owned vehicles. Although this rate is lower than in car-centric cities like Los Angeles, it still represents a substantial number of cars for a dense 49-square-mile city like San Francisco. As a result, the large number of private vehicles in the city significantly worsens traffic congestion. Despite efforts to promote public transportation and cycling, many residents prefer the convenience of personal vehicles, contributing to congestion. Moreover, limited parking is a significant factor exacerbating San Francisco's traffic problems. The city's dense urban environment leaves little space for parking, especially in highly populated and commercial areas. Consequently, drivers often spend considerable time circling blocks in search of a parking spot, which contributes to increased traffic congestion. This phenomenon, known as cruising for parking, not only adds unnecessary vehicles to the roads, but also increases emissions and slows down the overall flow of traffic. Furthermore, the scarcity of parking spaces has led to higher parking fees, pushing many drivers to seek free or cheaper parking in residential neighborhoods. Consequently, this influx of cars into residential areas creates further congestion and parking difficulties for residents, leading to tensions and frustration. In addition, the limited availability of parking can discourage people from using their vehicles for shorter trips, which might otherwise alleviate some congestion. However, without adequate alternatives, such as reliable public transportation or affordable parking options, many residents and workers feel compelled to drive, despite the challenges. This cycle of limited parking, leading to more driving and more congestion, continues to worsen San Francisco's already strained traffic conditions. Compounding these issues, poor road conditions further contribute to traffic congestion. In 2024, 71% of San Francisco's roads were reported to be in very poor condition, leading to increased congestion due to construction and accidents. The city's dense layout and infrastructure constraints also make it difficult for vehicles to maneuver efficiently, exacerbating the already challenging traffic situation. Beyond infrastructure concerns, the rise of ride-hailing companies like Uber and Lyft has significantly worsened traffic congestion in San Francisco. A study suggests that from 2010 to 2016, cars driving for these ride-sharing companies, both headquartered in San Francisco, were the biggest contributors to the city's increasing traffic woes. In fact, these companies have accounted for approximately 50% of the rise in congestion during that period. Further illustrating their impact, as of 2016, ride-hail vehicles made over 170,000 trips within San Francisco on a typical weekday, accounting for 25% of all intracity vehicle trips, with usage highest during peak commute periods. Adding to these challenges, driverless cars in San Francisco have been creating several traffic problems, raising concerns among residents and officials. For example, in August 2023, just a day after California regulators approved expanded operations for robo-taxi companies, a group of cruise driverless vehicles caused a significant traffic jam in San Francisco's North Beach neighborhood. Specifically, approximately 10 cruise vehicles stopped functioning, blocking intersections for about 15 minutes. 
This incident was particularly problematic as it occurred near the Outside Lands Music Festival, with crews attributing the issue to wireless bandwidth constraints that delayed connectivity to their vehicles. Meanwhile, the Bay Area's public transportation systems, such as BART and Muni, also face significant challenges due to the region's rapid growth and increasing population. As more people move to the area for work, these transit systems are often overcrowded, particularly during peak hours. Consequently, trains and buses frequently operate at full capacity, leaving many passengers standing or unable to board at all. This overcrowding not only makes commutes uncomfortable, but also strains the entire transportation network, leading to delays and reduced service reliability. Despite efforts to expand and upgrade these systems, the pace of demand often outstrips available resources, making it difficult for BART and Muni to effectively meet the needs of the growing population. As a result, many commuters are left frustrated, and the pressure on alternative modes of transportation, such as driving, increases, further exacerbating the region's traffic congestion problems. Furthermore, the ongoing development across San Francisco adds to the city's traffic challenges. Continuous construction projects, including new buildings and infrastructure improvements, result in road closures and detours that further slow down traffic. Currently, the city is experiencing an unprecedented surge in road and sidewalk construction as of August 2024. San Francisco's landscape is filled with numerous projects, ranging from small quick builds to massive multi-year endeavors. For instance, the El Taraval project in the Sunset District has been ongoing for five years and is set to conclude in fall 2024. Meanwhile, the Better Market Street project is revamping a 2.2-mile stretch of the city's main thoroughfare. Furthermore, the Howard Folsom Streetscape project, scheduled to begin in 2025 and last until 2027, aims to enhance pedestrian safety and facilitate transit boarding. These projects involve multiple agencies, including SFMTA, San Francisco Water Power Sewer, the Department of Public Works, and PG&E. Moreover, zoning and development policies are crucial in shaping urban landscapes and traffic patterns. When these policies encourage high-density development in areas that lack adequate transportation infrastructure, they can lead to significant congestion issues. This problem often arises from a mismatch between land use planning and transportation planning, further complicating the city's ability to manage its growth effectively. And there you have it, the reasons why San Francisco's traffic seems stuck in a never-ending jam. From growing populations and booming tech industries to constant construction and parking headaches, it's clear that fixing this problem won't be easy. San Francisco ranks among the worst cities for traffic congestion in the United States. According to the INRIX 2023 Global Scorecard Report, San Francisco is in the top 13 most congested US cities. Although it does not hold the top spot, the city still faces significant traffic issues. When compared to other major cities, New York City leads with the most congestion, with drivers losing 101 hours to traffic in 2023. Chicago follows closely behind, with drivers losing 96 hours, and Los Angeles, which is often notorious for its traffic, ranks third. Boston, while not currently in the top three, had previously been ranked as the worst in 2018, with residents spending an average of 164 hours in traffic, indicating a historically worse situation than San Francisco's. San Francisco's traffic situation is influenced by several unique factors. The city's geography, with its hilly terrain and limited space, naturally contributes to congestion. Additionally, the historical freeway revolts of the 1950s, where the city opposed freeway construction, have led to limited freeway access, with Interstate 80 being the only direct link to the East Bay. Commute patterns have also shifted over the years, with a decrease in residents commuting by driving alone or carpooling, indicating a move towards alternative transportation methods. San Francisco's road infrastructure consists of 1,088 miles of streets, the majority of which are surface streets, further complicating traffic flow. Moreover, the city's Vision Zero commitment to eliminate all traffic fatalities by 2024 may influence traffic management strategies. While San Francisco does face considerable traffic challenges, its unique characteristics contribute to ongoing congestion issues that place it among the top US cities for traffic problems.
So the next time you're crawling through traffic or driving in circles looking for parking, remember, it's not just you. It's a mix of city challenges all coming together on the road. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and stay patient out there. San Francisco's traffic isn't clearing up anytime soon.